In this video, we're going to go over the new Predator licensing system. This is going to be for those who have purchased the lifetime access. Before getting started, I just want to thank you for not only purchasing the Predator, but also helping the community grow. Whether you're a longtime member here or you're just new to the community, I hope you find the Predator helpful for your trading and continue to do so as we release more updates. But with that, let's get right into it. All right, so where do we find this version of the Predator? If you've purchased this before, just log in to our website. And this is very important here. If you purchased before May 11th and are one of the few who have not created a new account yet, then make sure to create a new account first and then email your first and last name to support at tradesaver.com. That way we can update your account and get you set up with a new license key. This is just for those who have purchased the Predator before and can either not log in or don't have access to a license key. If you are able to log in and have access to a key, then you do not need to email me. So with that, we're moving on, just logging in. We're just going to the top right corner and we're going to my account. From here, we're going to license and download. So once we're in this page, you're going to find the latest version and you will now see this version has an LT next to it. This is for lifetime members only and it's what has the updated licensing system. In this page, you will also find your license manager and your purchase key. Please guys, do not share this key with anyone. This is your own private key that you will need to license the Predator. If you purchase multiple licenses, you will find them in this box as well. All right, so let's download this new LT version and import it into our Ninja Trader. Before we import the new LT version of the Predator, let's talk about the templates. If you're upgrading from a non-LT version, and you want to transfer over your templates from this non-LT version. Unfortunately, there's no straight way where we can just save them and transfer them into the folder. The only way to do it is just load them on your current version before you upgrade. Just take screenshots of all of your settings. That way you have them once we actually upgrade to the LT version. Unfortunately, this is getting treated as a new product, so we can't really transfer these old templates over. But if you're updating from a previous LT version, you can just follow this video to transfer over all your old templates. I don't want this video to be too long, so just follow the video. It will explain it a lot better. But with that, we're moving on. Now, to actually import the Predator, we first must remove any previous versions we might have installed already. If this is your first time importing the Predator, skip these steps. But if you're upgrading from a previous version, first let's go to tools, remove Ninja Script assembly. And from this page, if you have a non LT version, you would just simply remove the previous version of the Predator X order entry. So you would just click on it, remove. If you're upgrading from a previous LT version, you must select the Predator X order entry and the Elite Licensor. So let's remove those and select yes. Once those are removed, let's close this. We're going back into tools, import Ninja Script add-on, and we're going to import our entire zip folder and make sure you have the LT version. So select that, open. Once we have that imported, we have to refresh everything. So first, let's restart Ninja Trader. So I'm just close it down and I'm going to reopen it. All right, once we have Ninja Trader loaded back up, make sure to always clear out your strategies tab. This should be done at the start of any new day, but especially now, let's just clear all of those. We're going to connect to whatever data we're using. All right, so now let's actually load the Predator. So right click on your chart, go to strategies, select the Trade Saver Predator folder. In here, you will see the Predator X order entry and you will see the LT next to it if you have the LT version. So let's click on that. We'll worry about setting it up later because we're actually going to have to restart Ninja Trader again once we enable the licensing. So once you have this, let's just hit apply, okay. And we're going to go back down to the strategies tab in the control panel and select the enable button. From here, you're going to see two boxes. The lower orange one is just going to take you to the predator guide. If you need information on how to use the predator, just click on this one. But to actually license your predator, just click on this middle one. 
and in here you're going to type in your license key so that is this key right here we're just going to copy and we're going to paste it in here if it's successful you're going to see a message your license key has been activated successfully please restart ninja trader so let's do that one more time all right back into ninja trader let's connect to our data and remember to clear out all of your control panel strategies because we're going to start fresh and if you don't want those to show up when you load just make sure to clear them first and then save your workspace all right so let's load it one last time strategies trade saver predator predator x order entry lt and let's hit apply okay and enable it from the control panel and you will see it now populates on your chart and just remember this license is only valid for one computer at a time if you need to run the predator on a second machine at the same time you will need a secondary license please email support at tradesaver.com for a special pricing on machine add-ons however if you're just simply transferring one license from one computer to another you no longer need to email support you can do that by disabling your strategy, going back into your strategy properties, scroll down to the bottom where it says 29 Trade Saber, and you will see an option called deactivate your license. Just click on that and deactivate the license. Once you do that, your license will be deactivated, and then you can type in your same license key into another machine. Just keep in mind, guys, that you can only use this one key on one machine at a time or else you will get an error message. So now if you will try and load this one again while it's deactivated, you will get the same enter your license key box. So once again, just make sure once you type in your license key, you restart Ninja Trader and you should be good to go. But with that, I hope you guys found this video useful. As always, take care, enjoy.